<laughs> Mr. Director, it's two points I'd like to make that I think hunger on our and other campuses is partly a national responsibility and it's partly a UWC responsibility. Late last year, I got my branch of the ANC to pass a resolution that school feeding should be extended up from grade 6 to grade 12 and that it should be upgraded from a sandwich to a full cooked meal a day. That got passed by the, the provincial executive of the ANC. When it got to the National Conference of Polokwane, the last half about a full cooked meal got moved and the first half got passed in a slightly stretched out way that school feeding ought to be progressively extended up to grade 12. Um, no doubt with an eye clever manual. I, I'd like to urge that our rector, when you meet the other historically disadvantaged colleges and universities, to urge them to jointly lobby the Minister of Education that we now need to extend, extend school feeding up to grades 13, 14 and 15. Uh, in other words, the whole bachelor the ABSC program where it is needed uh, by there and that either through NAFSATs or, or a similar scheme. The, the last point I'd like to, to raise is that, of course, UWC always used to, as in my own student who have it, have simply one price for residences which obviously included all 21 meals per week taken for granted. It was only about a decade ago that UWC first introduced the United States style of, of separating uh, the cost for residence fees from a separate thing, a so-called meal plan of 7, 14, and 21. I thought this was very irresponsible for UWC to mimic the wealthy USA because it was easy to predict that obviously desperate students already in debt for residence would of course choose the lower price without meals, hoping that God would provide and when, as an atheist, I noticed God doesn't provide, He doesn't <laughs> cost on you down to provide each year. And where a student cannot prove uh, that you can pay the fees a month uh, for the year, including the cost of food, we should not use that system because, of course, it requires impossible self-discipline. In other words, you either can pay the cost of residence, including all meals, or you must just save hard or try and get more scholarships uh, for it.